Hi, third graders. Today we are going to be learning about environmental and inherited traits. Let's learn together. So, inherited and environmental traits. Think about this. How would you describe yourself? Make a list right now of five things that describe you. Get a piece of paper and a pencil. Pause the video until you have all five things. Just one word is fine. All right, if you are tuning back in, you should have a list of five things that describe you. Here's my list. I have brown hair, reader, teacher, big eyes, and curly hair. Those are the five words that describe me. You should have five things that describe you on your sheet of paper. So how would you describe yourself? You might say that you have brown eyes, that you like to skateboard. Look at your list. Look at your list right now. Think about it. How many of your descriptions could also describe someone else in your family? Think about your list. In my list, brown hair describes my mom, my dad, and my sister. And that's not even factoring in my aunts or uncles or grandparents. Reader, well, a couple of my family members like to read. I'm the only teacher, big eyes, my dad has big eyes too, and curly hair, my sister has curly hair. So some of these things are also true about my family members. Are some of yours true about your family members? So let's say that you have brown eyes and you like to skateboard. Think about this. Would anyone else in your family have brown eyes and like to skateboard? Probably. Um, maybe only a few of them like to skateboard, but probably one of your parents would have brown eyes. Your eye color comes from your parents. However, you had to learn how to skateboard. So they didn't have to be interested in skateboarding. Humans, plants, and other animals have a mixture of traits from their parents. And they also have traits that they learned on their own. So we know already that a trait that is passed from the parent to the baby, which is called an offspring, is an inherited trait. That's something we've already learned. Inherited traits are things like eye color, skin color, hair color, curly or straight hair, dimples, freckles, or your height. Look right now. Are your earlobes attached to the side of your head or do they hang free? Look at yours. Do they attach or do they hang free? You can see the diagram below. The shape of your earlobe, whether it's attached or free, is actually an inherited trait. It means you got that from your parent. Can you roll your tongue? I can. You actually inherited that trait from a parent too. Some people can't roll their tongue at all. Try now. <laughs> Now let's talk about environmental traits. Are you better at using the iPad than some of the adults in your family? I bet you are. If so, you learned how to do this. You did not inherit this behavior from your parents. This happened because of your environment. I bet you can navigate Schoology a lot better than your parents because you learned it at school. You learned it in your environment. Here's another question. Have you ever dyed your hair or pierced your ears before? If so, this happened because of your environment. It, you weren't born that way. You had to go and change that trait about yourself. So if I look back at my list, brown hair. I was born this way. This is inherited. Reader, was I born knowing how to read? No way. I had to work really hard to learn how to read. I bet you did too. That's an environmental trait. Teacher, was I born knowing how to be a teacher? No way, I had to go to college for this. I had to learn a lot and practice a lot too. Big eyes, that definitely was something I was born with. I inherited that from my dad. Curly hair, here's a tricky one. Some people are born with curly hair. Here's a secret though. Is this at all, is it one? I wasn't born with curly hair. My hair is actually really straight. Every morning I curl my hair. So that is environmental because I change it. 
It happens in my environment. So environmental traits are caused by something that happens to you as a result of your environment. If you're this little girl right here, your environment is being in school with a teacher helping you, she's going to learn how to read. That's an environmental trait. It's a learned behavior. She learned how to do it. She wasn't born with it. It wasn't inherited. This looks like my tomato plant this summer. My tomato plant actually split right at the stem like this one did. And this happens because of its environment. It maybe it wasn't staked correctly, didn't have enough twine around that area and it got too heavy, so it kind of snapped. That was because of the environment. It wasn't born like that, it didn't grow like that originally. The seed didn't say you have to snap right here. That's not how that works. Environmental traits, some examples, scars, learning how to read, a broken wing, think about a bat or a bird with a broken wing. They weren't born that way. A torn leaf, like a leaf that was ripped a little bit. Um, oh my goodness, begging for food. Imagine a little puppy dog begging for food. They weren't born begging for food. They have a learned behavior. They know if they sit under your spot at dinner time and they go, then maybe you'll sneak them a little bit of food from your plate. Cutting your hair, right? That's something that you're, you, that you're changing in your traits based on your environment. Painting your nails. Your nails aren't painted when you're born. You actually have to do that in your environment to change them. So environmental traits, you're not born with environmental traits. You will not pass them on to your offspring. They are from the environment. They are a result of your environment. They are ones in which animals get as like a result of something happening to them. So if two bears are fighting, one of them might get a scar from it. Wasn't born with a scar. It happened because of something that was in their environment, that fight. So let's review. Inherited trait, passed down from parents to babies or their offspring. An inherited trait caused by something that happens to you as a result of your environment. It can come from something happening to the organism or it could be something that they learn, like learning how to read or skateboard. Quiz time. I have not grown as tall as I should because I'm not getting enough water. Do you think that's inherited or environmental? Make your pick. If you said environmental, you are correct. That flower wasn't born not having enough water. That happened because of the environment. There wasn't enough rain that day maybe, or someone forgot to water the flower. That is environmental. I bark when I hear noises bark when I hear noises. This could be a mixture. If you train your dog to bark when people come to the door and you are okay with that, then it could be environmental, but dogs also instinctually know to bark. So that one probably would be inherited. The color of my fur, what do you think? If you said inherited, you are correct. Inherited traits are something that the parents give the offspring. This cat inherited its fur color from its parents. Insects make up my diet. Inherited or environmental? Inherited is the correct answer. Diets are something that animals inherit from their parents, right? It's something that has to do with their species. They know how to eat or what to eat instinctually. I am overweight because I am fed too much. Oh, poor puppy. So is this inherited or environmental? If you said environmental, you are correct. That is the end of our slideshow, guys. So the next thing you are going to be doing is a quizzes. And that quizzes is going to have similar questions to what you just did with me. So have a wonderful rest of your day.